Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to finish my paper bag junk journal. It's the one I made with the two paper bags and some various envelopes, a stick-on library pocket there. I've decorated it with some bits from my U Your Creative Studio boxes, but you can decorate it with anything you like. Um, at the end of the first one, I said I was going to sew a button on front and didn't actually show you how I sewed it on. Uh, but I've decided to take the button off and sew it on again. Now, I've just... <laughs> I've already just done this once and then one at neighbours got some industrial leaf blower out. It looks like they're drying the grass. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. There's not as queer as folk, is there? I've no idea what they're doing. But <laughs> can you see I'm mad? <laughs> at the end of the video, I think I'll put the original sewing one on just for you to see how loud it were. I'm like, no, I can't make a video with that going off. So I'm hoping now that the light holds out for this video. So yeah, moan over. I don't normally start my videos with a moan, but there we go, I've had a moan. So I'm going to show you how I sewed this button on. So I forget sometimes that beginners may not have seen, may not have sewn a button onto paper before. It might be something uh, that you're not totally confident about. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll sew a button on, job done. There it is. <laughs> so here we go, let's sew the button on. So I'm going to sew it on with this uh, it's, uh, one millimetre twine jute twine it is listed in my amazon storefront if you fancy getting any now that's the button i used it's one of my um decoupaged buttons from a previous video again i'll, I'll link i do try to link up videos from previous projects that i incorporate I sometimes forget so just give me a nudge in comments if i forgot so i decide where my button wants to be then grab something that you can stab yeah, stabby. Either a book. I've grabbed this bit of foam today. I then get my pokey tool. I've put my sharp stabby pokey tool on here. And then instead of just going straight in sewing, I stab through. I'm not really doing it now because as you can see, my holes are already there. So stab through all the four holes. If he starts up with that leaf blower again, I'm going to not be a happy bunny. <laughs> so yeah, four holes. Now, if you're doing this somewhere where you think that paper's a bit thin. Put another piece of paper there. I like to use my circles. I've always got a load of punched circles ready to go and use in various projects. Oh, craft a lunch nearly occurred then. Like that. Whatever co colour, just pop something there just to reinforce that back bit. I decided on this project because this is going through quite a few thicknesses of the bag because this was the bottom plus the paper at the front I didn't need to reinforce it so I haven't right so we've got our needle that's from when I'd just done it when the leaf blower incident occurred yeah it was so loud oh yeah I'm gonna tack that bit of video on to end just for you to see how loud it were and you <laughs> I got pretty annoyed very annoyed I was. Right, so there is me one millimetre twine. I'm threading it through my needle. It's a wide-eyed needle. We call these bodkins in UK. I don't know if that's a real word or just something my mum came up with. I have no idea. Right, pop your button on. Well, before we pop button on, I'm coming in from back. You could come in from the front and perhaps tie a little knot on the front of button, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to. So I'm coming in from back. I think I'll cut my string off. I got in a bit of a tangle last time. Yeah, twine, string, whatever. And I've come in the top right hole, so I want to do the top right hole on my button. I think I'm even doing it in different order to last time. I don't know. That's just how much it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And I like to have, uh, yeah, a good enough to tie my bow at the back. That's it. So then I'm going to go back in there. I think I'm even sewing this in. I've sewn this in different three times now. So again, that's just how much it don't matter. As long as it looks nice and neat and tidy and pretty. There you go. 
and there we go so that's that i'm not going to go over it again this is a very strong twine you're not going to snap it so i'm just going to knock this off i will tie another knot in it so it doesn't come loose because another thing about this twine is if you don't double knot it it can work its way loose if you want to put something else on you could put a dot of glue on that to hold it and then I'm just going to tie a bow in it and leave it. Because I think I may leave mine as is. I like it. I like the look of that. You can see that that was the bottom of a paper bag. And we've got this nice bow. Which is not sitting as well as it did last time. When leaf blower were going. <laughs> <clears throat> That's that. Now I've got a different twine to make the closure. This is thicker. I think this is two millimetre twine. And all I do is I just wrap it round. Some people like to glue this on, but I don't. I'm of the opinion, just wrap it round and tie it. If it comes off, you can tie it back on. Not too tight or we might rip everything. So just one knot and then two knots. Tight, but not overly tight. Then I just snip that there, level with edge of my button. Then we can wrap it round the journal as many times as we want. I like to go about three times, so one, two, one more I reckon. And then round the button, and I'm going to cut it off there. I do want to put some kind of bead or charm on bottom, but I've not had a delve through for a nice one yet. So that's it, that's how I did the closure with the button, and I quite like that. So let's crack on with decorating it now, leaf blower free. Why on earth would you? They've had a new lawn put down. Do you have to dry joins or something? I have no idea. Why on earth they're going round with a leaf blower? It's just baffling me. I th it's so loud I thought it was stone cutter. Anyway, I've promised to show up my own and I might actually manage it now. Right, let's get decorating. So before I put any more papers on, I'll tell you what I've decided to do on this. I don't want to put much decoration on there. I've gone around and just lightly inked it with my walnut stain ink. I think I've missed that bit off. Do -do -do -do. <clears throat> there you go. If you want to ink around those edges, you can. I've not done it yet, so I suppose there's no time like the present, is there? I'm going to grab a piece of something to pop in. So I don't want to get ink where I don't want ink. So I'm just going to... put. I could pop something in from top, but that would have been too easy. Yeah, I'm just getting a bit of ink on these edges. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw someone do this, it was like a huge light bulb moment for me. Now it seems like something really normal. Wee. So just move that about. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And I've just got to do the top now. Pop you in the top, mate. There you go. I think I need another dab in the ink. It's getting a bit dry. I've still not swapped over to my new one. I did buy a new uh, walnut stain because this one was getting a bit old and raggedy. Yeah, I've re-inked it loads of times, but the actual ink pad were getting a bit bitty. So I trekked myself to a new one, but I've still not opened it. Right, so that's that. Right, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is the back of this. I've decided I want to put some envelopes on it. These are the cutest envelopes in the world. I think I've had the same envelopes from Cheryl and Sam in Happy Mails. <clears throat> Again, they're going to be linked in the description. Cheryl's got a fabulous YouTube channel and Sam has got an Etsy shop. So what I want to do is I want it so we can put a tag in there and then tuck something, tuck something behind the back. We're going to tuck it behind the back. That would right posh, wouldn't it? For a northern bird. Yeah, but before that, I want to put some paper on to make it look nice. So let's get some paper. I've got my Your Creative Studio boxes. I've got all sorts here. Desk's a bit of a nightmare. 
as per usual. Yeah, and I've got a selection of uh, tags and things. Yeah, so my, my idea with this journal was to make the actual cover out of bits that you can use used envelopes, used paper bags, used tags. I've got all these again I've had in Happy Mail. And the decorating I'm doing with me your creative studio bits and bobs. But you can decorate with anything you like. I'm using the original April and May boxes. Yeah. Uh, I know what the deal is with that now. I did an unboxing of these April and May boxes and someone said that they'd had them back in January, February, yes. What happened was uh, your creative studio had supply issues at the beginning of the year. So what they did is they sent the April and May boxes out to some people early. Then they got a unique replacement box during, not April and May, March and April, during March and April. Anyway... They do make sure that every box you get is different. Yeah, they're really good at that. They won't send you the same box twice. Right. What we're going to... I can't have that one because I had that one there, didn't I? Do I want that one? I don't think so. Oh, I like that one. But I'm going to cover most of it with envelopes. So is that a good one to put there? Probably. Yeah, I think that one's going to go there. I think I might put it there. And do you know what? I'm just, because that's a cut out there, I'll put a different piece up at top. I mean, if you want something that's perfect and goes right at top, you choose some. Of... But I'm getting right into this thing's not quite being perfect kind of thing. The width of it is, just, it could not be more perfect. The height of it, yeah, we know it's not quite what we want. So I'm going to grab... What have we got? I think I'll use another part of one of these. I use the self-adhesive paper there. These ones are not self-adhesive, but I think they've got a little bit more detail. Oh, do you know what? That'd be perfect for going inside, wouldn't it? Oh, my word. I could make a tag. That Oh, that's going to be a tag in there now. So I've changed my mind again. It's a woman's prerogative to change your mind, and I've got a lot of prerogative, it would seem. So do you know what? I think I might just... Oh, there's got to be more paper in here. Yeah, we've got the self-adhesive ones again. I think I might use this again. Yeah, I'm going to use self-adhesive paper on here again. Because I want to use that with the border as a tag. Yeah. See, I love to change my mind. I've now just got to decide which one to use. I think... I'm going to use that one. Yeah, but I'll, I'm placing it there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right. So I'm going to get my pencil out and mark where I need to cut this. Pencil, where are you? The kids have been in Nick my pencil on a non-school day. I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Stand up, woman. You can see better what's in your tubs. Hello, uh, we just had a brief pause again when the leaf blower started up. I'm praying for a power cut. I've got a battery on my phone. <laughs> That's so bad, isn't it? Anyway, right, buttons on, closure's done. We're going to decorate. Right, so I'm using my bits and bobs from the Your Creative Studio. Stand up glue. Now, my glue needs filling, so it what, me dangles a bit heavy for it. Right, on the back here, I want to put some teeny tiny envelopes because they're just cute. And I think I'm going to close them with Velcro, little Velcro fasteners, so that we can put a tag in there and then tuck something behind there. And I'm going to put two on. I think that's just so sweet. Yeah, we're going to make a tag to go in there. I'm not going to put vellum on it. don't need it. Sometimes, uh, or acetate, you can put it behind there if you take this apart. But no, I just want to put a tag in there. I think that's enough. But first, I want to decorate that with some paper. So I'm using my papers from the Your Creative Studio boxes. You don't have to decorate with those. You can decorate with anything you want. The thing is, none of the papers I've got are quite long enough. 
so I'm having to improvise a little bit and cobble a couple together like I did on the inside on that one it would join there you can hardly see it but I'm gonna do the same on there I think I'm just yeah I think I've got them all out ready oh I've had a craft lunch of tags I think that's what you call a tag a lunch not craft lunch tag a lunch oh lordy right that's the craft a lunch picked up right so yeah I want to I don't want to back this with something too pretty because most of it's going to get covered up isn't it with envelopes but I just want it to match that so I think I'm going to use this one I use it like that we'll get that picture there yeah so grab a pencil look at pencil I'm down to kids don't steal my pencils no they don't <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to find where the if I cut this down to the proper width, I can pop it inside and trace that. There's like that little divot. I want to trace it nicely. So where do I want the paper? I'm going to cut the paper there. So I'll cut down there first. Get your little trimmer out. It's only a little bit of paper, woman. Yeah, then we can pop it inside. This is the self-adhesive paper again. Oh, it's such a sign. A sign tamer? No, it's a time saver. What on earth is a sign tamer? I don't know. I don't think we have vicious signs in UK. Maybe they have vicious signs in other parts of the world. No, I can't put it in because that's not wide enough. So I'm just going to have to... I'm going to have to wing it. Yeah, let's wing it. I'm going to try it with a circle punch and then I'll... um go from there we'll see what occurs circle punch where are you we don't want you you funny shape we just want a normal circle punch anybody circle punch i've got them all arranged behind me now on the door this one i've got my one and a quarter inch circle punch i don't even know if this is going to work with it being self adhesive paper so i'm just gonna i'm looking at my marks and Oh yeah, it did work. Let's see what that looks like. Nah, we need we need one wider than that. But I can't be bothered to go searching for circle punches. So I'm gonna mark it on the back this time. And I'm gonna try cutting it by hand, free hand. Hey, <laughs> this might go horribly wrong. Do 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 do. If I were doing this without having the punch bit to follow already, it may go even more wrong. But I think it should be okay like this. We'll see anyway. But I'm not looking for perfection with this journal. I'm being very free and easy. Mm, so I've obviously... That's looking good to there, isn't it? And then it's all gone a bit peat tong ground here. So I need to cut that out. It's gone a bit peat tong. Wow, I were quiet then. Still want to cut a bit more off. Drop it down a bit. Yeah, it's not looking too bad now. Could have, I've seen worse. I've definitely seen a lot better. It's not often you see me doing the freehand cutting. Yeah, I can live with that. Me like it. Right, let's get some ink around the edges before we stick it on. And then I'll just be piecing the bottom again. Whee. I mean, if you're using something else to decorate, you won't have this problem. But if you are deciding to use your creative studio box, this is how I do it when I've got... I don't know why I inked cross bottom. I weren't going to do that. I could overlap the other piece of paper so let's peel that back right i'm gonna just gonna peel the top bit back just like so to help me get this positioned 
because it's really sticky, sticky, sticky. That looks about straight. I can live with that. It's about, it's straight-ish. We like straight-ish these days. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What does my mum say? A blind man would be glad to see it. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna. I'm wondering if that bit I cut off side would even do. Do you know what? I think it will. I really think that'll be fine because most of that's going to be covered up by an envelope. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Pencil, where are you? There we go. I'll cut it with trimmers so it's nice and straight. <laughs> Wore myself out doing freehand around that circle, semicircle. Yeah, I'll pop that there. I'm quite happy with that. That'll do me. And I'll just ink around the edges again. Let's put that circle punch away because I'm not going to need it again. There you go. Inky Darba. I'll ink that. So there were no waste then on that piece. That was quite good. I've been getting quite wasteful lately. I've been so lucky to have so much lovely happy mail that I've not been scratching about for supplies. And I think I've gone a bit wasteful. I really do. So I need to go back to basics. I really do. Make these supplies last. Ah. You stuck it down too early, woman. Uh, uh. Oh, it came off. I'm so glad. Because I want to get this side lined up. Because this is the side you're going to see first, in it? Yes, it is. There we go. Now it's too near bottom. Oh, it's a Pete Tong day. I think you American people are going to think, what on earth is Shan about Pete Tong? I mean, I'm not even a cockney, but it's like rhyming slang. He were a DJ Pete Tong and it rhymes with wrong. So when something goes Pete Tong, it's gone wrong. Right, I'm liking that. So now we're going to pop these on. Yeah, me likes this. I think I'll put them in the middle because they'll still be... Yeah, I'll put them in the middle. I could cut the flaps off actually just to have a... Do you know what? I think I'm going to cut the flaps off. Yeah, well, I'm not going to cut them off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them inside like so. Yeah, because I want to see the little tags sticking out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, fold in your flaps, missus. I'm going to use a bit of um, art glitter glue for this. And hope I can do it. Don't do it on your project, woman. I'm going to go around the edge, just a little bit there. I mean, if I were confident that that sticky would stay stuck, I'd have just wet it and done it, but I don't know if it will. So, fold that, oh, it worked. Fold it in, stick it down, nothing's squidged out. Yeah, that's what I want. Cute little pocket that makes then, doesn't it? We like cute. Cute is our friend. I really need to fill that up again. Becky, stop using all my art glitter glue. Yeah, I think they've been having a free-for-all in my craft room. Pencils have gone. Pens are disappearing. My glue keeps emptying. It's either kids or I've got fairies or gremlins or gnomes. It could be gnomes. They're little minxes. Yeah, I like that. Right, well, let's do a bit of inking on these. Just round edge. I think I'll just decorate these up with some stick. That's a little bit loose there, so I'm just gonna pop a teeny bit of art glitter in just to make sure that don't come apart. There we go. That one is as well. And I don't know if these are vintage. Because like I say, I got them in happy mail. Wee. 
There's lots and lots of goodies and bits and bobs in those Your Creative Studio boxes that I can adapt to fit in here. There's some yumminess. They're totally full of yumminess. And we need to get some tags with some more colour on than the backing papers. I'm using the, uh, yeah, wildflowers and the garden one. And I may stick a butterfly or two in from the butterfly box I had. Right, so... Oh, we like. Now, do I get all um, OCD and measure these to stick them on? Or do I just stick them on? Just stick them on, woman. Stick them on. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, I'm going to put glue around three edges. So I've still got the open pocket there and a little pocket at back. So we're going down here. I like art glitter for this. It sticks really well. Don't give you too many wrinkles. I'm going to put your bottle down sideways, woman, so it doesn't all settle. So we're going to have you like, we'll put you slightly over to one side to give more room for the top of the tag. Yeah? Yeah. See what I've done? It's got slightly over to right. It looks straightish. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with straightish. If I stood up and put my head right over, I'd probably get it straighter. It looks straight from where I'm sat. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to do the same again with that one. And I'm going to leave room for something to tuck in there. I'll just tilt this towards me. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks good. So again, we've got two more cute little pockets. No, we haven't. We've got four more cute little pockets. Wow, I can't count now. I've lost the ability to speak. I've lost the ability to count. Really hope I don't lose the ability to craft altogether. So I'm liking that. Really liking that. So that's all our pockets done. And it's time to decorate. Woo. So we need. I'm going to start by making the big tag to go in here, I think. I've decided I want to use one of these bits of paper and I want to try and arrange this so we see that through the window. Right. First, I need to decide how big my tag's going to be. If you look at these cards, they're designed to put a 4x6 photo in and have it show through. So if I make the tag 4x6, I think, well, 4 wide, I want it longer than 6 because I want it to poke out the top. So if I make it four wide, I should be okay. Now, do I want to make it from something? That'd fit lovely, wouldn't it? But it wouldn't stick out top. So that might be an issue. What else we got? I've got one of them. Again, fit lovely, but wouldn't stick out the top. I think I might just go for a bog standard piece of card to stick this on. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a piece of the file folder that we used in the first video to make this little flippity flap thing yeah do that woman do it so i've got my file folder oh that's that's one that my chair wheeled over look but i should get a four by six piece out of that top bit yeah anyone who's got a wheeler chair in the craft room will be familiar with the oh no i've just wheeled over it and ruined it so if i make it four wide and a bit longer than six don't know how long yet. I'll just. Hmm. I could make a flippy one. No, I don't want to make a flippy one. It wants to be single. It don't. I don't want to add too much bulk in that pocket. So. Right, you'll see what I'm thinking now. It all will become clear. I don't even know if I'm rambling today. That. Uh, people making noise all day has really stressed me out because I wanted to make a video so that will go in like that that is four inches wide Ta -da! so now I'll decide how tall I want this maybe yay tall yeah yay tall will be good so I'm going to take that back out and cut it I'll use the little trimmer. That big one really annoys me having to get it on my desk. It's very bulky. 
So I'll cut it where that mark is and then I'll measure it you with ruler. So how big's this tag ended up? Oh, it's seven and it's nearly seven and a just over seven and a quarter. So I'm going to nibble a bit more off and make it seven and a quarter just because I can. Yeah, so it's seven and a quarter by four. Right, now I need to place this lovely image on it. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, so if I cut this down to about... We've gone all measure aren't we? I weren't going to measure. I'll cut this down to about three and three quarters wide. First, I'm going to chop the edge off. Oh, don't wrinkle it, you silly woman. And then I'm going to make it three and three quarter inches wide. That'll be lovely. Could I get rid of a bit? No, I don't want to get rid of a bit more greenery. Yeah, I do. I want to take a bit more of that greenery off that edge. Gone. I did not give myself time to rethink that. Three and three quarter inch wide. And I'm just taking that edge off the top and bottom. Or oh, do I want to? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Put that down. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it on. Yeah, I like it. That and that. Yeah, I'm leaving it. And then I'm going to make this into a tag shape at the top using my trusty, one of my trusty plastic cards. Yeah, that one looks good. They're just plastic cards. I've cut the corners off. I've been asked about these. I don't know I've got this idea off, but I've seen a lot of people use it. And then you put the same angle to the other end or the side, and then you've got matching angles on your tag. Yeah, you were like. So that's going to be pretty. Yeah, because the space is pretty tight in there, I'm not going to be decorating this up with anything else. It's just going to be inked and glued and stuck in. We'll put something pretty on the top. So grab your ink. We'll go around the edges. Yeah, I like that little border at the top. I weren't sure if I would, but I think once I've got these edges inked, put that up against there, it'll be easier. Yeah, if you're inking thin paper, that always makes your life a bit easier. Put it on something thicker so it's not flapping about and wrinkling. I've seen Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. She has one piece of card that she does this with so often. It's inked to death. It's, it really is. There's so much ink on it. I'm not organised enough to have one piece of card. I use various ones. I wonder if I could put it slightly away to ink two in one. Mm, nearly. So. I'm not going to ink the back now. I ink the back of things off camera. You just want to get the front inked so that you can see the effect. Right. Yeah, we like that. I know it's quite a thin tag, but it's perfect. And you'll have all that room to journal. So let's glue this on. I'm going to use me uh, Kalal glue for this. I've not used it for a while. Again, she says. I think I used it other week. And I had trouble getting it out of bottle because I've not used it for a while. Here we go. It's a bit like three in one this, but it's a darn sight cheaper. And things do dry. It's not quite as flexible when dried. But when I'm sticking something on a thin tag like this, that is a feature I like. Let's shut it down to the bottom. I were going to fill this up before I used it again. Did I? Did I? Heck? Right, do you know what? I'm going to pause for two ticks and fill my Kalal and my art glitter. So we're all filled up now. I'll show you the bottles of glue I use. I know a lot of people have asked. <laughs> Look at the size of this. Does it fit on camera? It's a, a litre bottle of Kalal. That's how it's spelled. Uh, in the UK, it's about £15, this bottle. Yeah, and I just decant it into there. Same with my art glitter. I use the big 500ml bottle. I buy it from a place called Something Sticky. Yeah, both of these glues from somethingsticky.co.uk. And I think this one's about 25. But when you look at the 480ml, it's, yeah, it works out so much cheaper buying this. And by decanting it into this tiny bottle, I use less anyway. And I've been using this bottle now for about six months. You've seen how much glue I use and it's down to there. 
Yeah. So that's it. Might go off before I've used it. It's that big. I doubt it. But I can get that big bottle for price. It's half the price of buying the smaller ones off Amazon. So I got those. Right, crack on. Use your glue now. You've done waffling about it, woman. So we've got the Kalal glue. Yeah, it's very similar to 3-in-1 and Fabri-Tac. But it does stiffen things. It's not completely solid when it dries. But the 3-in-1 and the Fabri-Tac dry quite flexible. This is just dries a little bit stiffer. But like I said, that's a good thing in some projects. And again, I, I decant into this bottle because it's easier. You can buy a in these smaller bottles, but I really struggle with that lid. I can't use it. It drives me insane. Absolutely loopy. So let's stick this on. I'm going to line the bottom up first. You also get a lovely bit of wiggle time with this Kalal. And you can remove any excess with a glue rubber. And it doesn't dry quite as quick as 3-in-1 or Fabri-Tac, but it still dries pretty quick. There we go. And it does have this, it has a bit of a solventy smell, but the, I have asthma. And the um, Fabri-Tac and 3-in-1 really set my asthma off. The Kalal doesn't seem to. So there's something missing in it from... Fabric track and three in one, and it's that missing item that seems to aggravate my breathing. Right, so let's see if this fits. Oh, love it! Love it. Do you know what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier to go in? I'm going to pop my bone folder inside this card, and I'm just going to loosen things up a little bit there we go now this should slide in so much easier oh yeah look at the difference I have a bit of trouble there but once it's in it's worth it look at that that is gorgeous yeah really happy with how that's come out I like and I think I'm going to put a little bit of lace at the top there that'll be pretty yeah grab some lace woman Ooh, let's use this one a nice wide bit like that yeah that'll be nice the width on this lace is do, 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 almost two inches so cut about yay much off And that's going to go on there. I haven't decided how fancy I'm going to make that yet. Do I want to put eyelets on and stuff or just... No, I just want to staple that on. Just glue, a bit of glue and then I'm going to staple it. So I'm going to use my art glitter for this. It does stick fabric pretty well, art glitter. Kalal's not too hot on glue. It will stick it. But I prefer art glitter. It seems more secure. So yeah, that's the other thing about Kalal, it's more for paper. Which don't bother me because I don't like Fabri-Tac. There's something about the feel of it, again, which is missing in the Kalal. I can live with feel of Kalal if I get it on my fingers. They're both, is it, uh, solvent-based glues, but they've obviously got different formulations, aren't they? They share some properties, but not all of them. Oh, I like that. I'm tempted to sew around, but it may make it more difficult to put it in and out of that pocket. So I'm just going to grab my Timmy Tiny Attacher, or any stapler will do. You don't need the Timmy Tiny Attacher, which mine is somewhere in this drawer. I pulled this drawer out a little bit too far the other day and everything, and it fell on the floor. So, yeah. Timmy, where are you? Oh, I found you. Marco, Polo. Timmy, halts. And I think this deserves three staples, just to make sure it stays in place. There we go. I'm happy with that. And now I've got that in, Is now I'm going to decide 
what I want to do. I don't think I want to do anything around there. I quite like it. I may put a bit of washi along the bottom. I may put a little cluster on. I don't know. We shall see. Right, what we're going to put in here now. I'm just going to have a two minute tidy. Here we go. The amount of stuff I had out on my desk was beginning to border on the ridiculous. And knowing I wanted to grab some of the ephemera from the Your Creative Studio boxes, it would have just been unworkable. I was slowly sliding, weren't I, off the camera with all the stuff I had in front of me. So I've grabbed these. There were some journal cards, uh, some more bits of paper with some vellum. That's one of the bits of vellum I took out because I was toying with the idea of putting that on the front cover but then I decided against it. I've grabbed one at stamps. I might do a bit of stamping. And I've grabbed these tickety ones. They're from the garden set. This one's from the wildflower set. Just look how yummy these are. I think I'll just take one of these off and pop it in a pocket. They're just fabulous. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, but that, I want to make a journal card out of that. And I'm hoping it's going to fit in one of these pockets over here. Mm, no, it's not, is it? Just in. Just in. It's just not going to fit in this one, Julie. You're going to have to put it in another project. So, hey-ho. What do you know? Right, let's unpack these journal cards. I mean, if you, you could decorate this with anything. If you were decorating it with Timmy stuff, Timmy does lots of ready-made journal cards. I wonder if one of these will fit in here. But I think what I'll pop in here is some of the die cuts from the garden set. Ooh, I like that one. I like that. So will that fit? Oh, just. It'll be perfect. So let's pop, leave that there. We've got room to pop something in this envelope. Ooh, would that fit in something in the envelope? No, it's. I'd have to cut it down a lot and I don't want to. So that's not going to happen either. That will be too small. So we need to make another big tag for there. We need to make a square one for that envelope. The envelope is just over five by five. So if we make something say four and three quarters by four and three quarters, it should fit nicely, shouldn't it? We could. If, if I put a tab on one of those, that would fit, but it may be a bit lost. Yeah, it'll look a bit lost, wouldn't it? But I do want to use some of this yummy ephemera. I'm fully aware that I underuse these boxes when I get them. The temptation to hoard them is so great. So let's try decorating some of the tags and tickets. Ooh, yeah. I think I may decorate one of the alteration tags. Where did they? Oh, I've got that smaller one. That's going to go lovely in there, isn't it? Oh, Perfect, yeah. That's going to be going there and get decorated. And, ooh. What about one of these time cards? I think that's a bit tough. I'd have to cut some off it. And I don't want to. <laughs> I'll have to go in a bigger journal. So, a layaway tag. That's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah. That fits perfectly. Layaway tag. Yay. So, they'll get decorated in there. I've got some library cards that Cheryl sent me in here. No, I don't. I don't want to. There's certain things. Ooh, we don't have to have some at square, do we? That would fit nicely. Yeah, we're going to decorate a library card. I think I want one of the ones with the paler writing. Some writing's more bold than others. Go eat worms. No, I don't want to put go eat worms, but it is a garden journal. Do you know what? I am going to put that in. It's a garden and flower journal. It makes a go eat worms. That's obviously a book title. Yeah, we can go eat worms. <laughs> Crazy lady. Yeah, so we now know what we're going to decorate. Right. Oh, look at that. Those sticky notes. I'm going to take one off just so I can ponder popping it somewhere. Oh, I wish that would fit nicer on there. We could. If I stuck it to some card, we could make another little tuck on the front of there, couldn't we? Yes, we could. But it's going to be such a fiddle, isn't it, to cut round. That might annoy life out of me. Yeah, I think it would. Is it going to be worth it? It may be. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. 
Put that back on pad and ponder on that one, woman. You may not want that much fussy cutting in your life. So sometimes as well, look at this. The backing is really nice from the packaging from your creative studio. Anyhow, let's get decorating these. So, we've got the tickets. I'm going to untie these so I can have a proper look through what we've got. Because I think I'll pop one of those in there. I just like that. Oh, look, we could put a couple in. Let's get a couple that match. Oh, that's beautiful. They're all beautiful. Living the rabbits, lots of rabbits, but I like that one better. That's floral. Yeah, that can go in. We're not putting Bambi in. We'll save him for Christmas. He's got holly leaves and berries. There's a lot of really good Easter ones. Love the cat, but I think I'm liking that one as well. So we'll pop those two in there along with the layaway tags. And we can put something through the top like it's a tag. I like that idea. Not a lot of work required there. We've got this little pack of vellum. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking I might put some of those on the front of here. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, what would fit? Would these tickets fit in here? Ooh. I'm going to be a devil. The creased, but the not cut. I'm going to... Well, are, they, are they actually stickers? Oh, my word, are these stickers? And I didn't realise. The stickers. Oh, my word, the stickers. And I'm wanting to use them as tags. I'm going to leave those like that, because then... If I do sell or give this journal away, you can use it. But they are stickers. That's mad. I didn't realise. So we need some kind of collage decoration using those stickers. Let's put one each on them. So I'll cut them. I cannot believe I didn't know these were stickers. We've got flowers, so that goes nicely. We can put birds in, yeah. It's just a mishmash of garden, flowers and nature. So, Come on, peel it, woman, peel it. Then it covers up the flap. Not straight at all. Reposition, Will Robinson, reposition. Don't know what Will Robinson's got to do with anything. I like that on there. Come on, peel off. Three years later. Oh, I didn't ink that one, did I? There we go. Oh, I do like those there. So we'll think of something else for tags in there because we don't want to put yet more stickers in. I can't believe they're stickers. They're so nice. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. The, we know they're pretty. <laughs> I think I'm just tempted to cut some of these down to make tags in there. That'd be nice and easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's measure them. They are. The envelopes are two and a quarter inches. So if I make the tags two inches, two inches wide by uh, three and three quarter inches long. Let's go for it. <clears throat> two inches by three and three quarters, but I want to keep that on it yeah so three two inches wide yeah oh that's gonna be nice i'll just make it slightly over so i can re-round my corners two inches by three and three quarters yeah that's one let's grab a different design
that's different isn't it yeah that's different uh, I want to keep that bit on so three and three quarters by Nick it slightly over two that way so I can cut some of that curve off I want to re-round my corners but I don't want them quite as see what I mean I want them slightly less rounded so what did I do with that I made that slightly over and I need to cut that off yeah so I've just cut two pieces that are the right size to fit in these envelopes pretty I'll grab my corner rounder and round them again with smaller corners. I think I'm going to go for the medium size, which is a quarter inch. Yeah, I like that. It's gone quiet again. Yeah, let's get a bit of ink on them. So that one goes that way. Very similar but different. Which way does that one go? That one goes that way. And I think I'm going to put holes in these and put the eyelets in. Yeah. Oh, can you see bits coming off my ink pad and foam dauber? Right, so I'll grab my crocodile. Where is you, crocodile? There you go. I'm going to use the big hole again. I'll set it so that they're going to be... Yeah. I've set it to one... A quarter of an inch. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Grab some eyelets. I've used bronze over there, so I think I'll stick with bronze. Oh, the bronze are getting low. And I think I will put twine on these. That's that one. And that's that one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we just see the eyelet popping out. So I judged that nicely. Oh, I like. We need something else there. I'm thinking perhaps a bit of stamping. That might be nice. I'll grab some bits of twine. <laughs> oh, we're going to grab that then. It's my closure. Don't be silly, woman. Grab some of these little bits hanging about on your desk. This is the one millimetre twine. There we go, that's one. Oh, I like that. I really do, do like that. See, things don't have to be overcomplicated sometimes. Simple is good. And I'll snip that off again. And you've got plenty of room to journal. You can even journal up front of these. You can decorate them up some more if you want. But I'm loving that look. Could even use those in other places. So they'll all go back in the box with everything else. Right, let's move and see how we're looking. I'm quite liking that. Want something on here though. Let's flip it shut. Oh, me likes. Me likes. Yeah. I don't know if I want anything else on there. I like some of the brown showing when I've made my journals with envelopes and paper bags. It shows that that's what you've made it from, <laughs> in case people don't know. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm decorating this year before I put my pages in as well, because I'm conscious there's not a lot of room for a lot of pages. I'm wondering whether I want to just round that off a little bit. No, I'll leave it. So we've got the library card. I think 
library card I'm going to decorate with some of the stickers so I'm going to round the corners on this I think it needs it I'm going to use the teeny tiny rounder which is the small one I've had a lot of people ask where my corner rounders from it is linked on my Amazon it's a Japanese brand Sunstar and then it's a Japanese word that I can't pronounce I'm afraid <laughs> at the back of that is completely blank perfect for journaling I'm going to leave the hole as is the writing will be upside down if I use that as my tag hole oh, I've been watching my friend Cheryl on video chat she's been doing some fabulous collaging it's like whoa she's going to be doing a video on it so it's just it's just amazing you know and it's so simple but so effective and i hope she gets the video up soon because i want to do some i want to copy it <laughs> yeah i've had one or two comments from people who do you mind if i copy these no i don't mind at all it's that's what we do we see something we make it very rarely does it end up looking the same anyway I think the only time any of us mind is if you then see our idea, then put a video up saying, oh, look at this fabulous idea I've had, when you know you haven't had that fabulous idea. I mean, yeah, that's different to when different people have the same idea, what I talked about in the last video. Yeah, we know, you know, don't you? You just know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes we all have the same ideas, but mm, we know some people just take other people's ideas and make them their own. That's when it gets a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Dodgy, dodgy. Right, let's get some stickers. I've got these. I love these. So I've not done any collaging on here. I think I want to put a little bit of music paper on this bit because it's very very bland and then I'm going to use some of these lovely stickers I've got my scraps of music paper from when I did the cover so I just want to use a bit of this but I don't want to cover all the yummy writing up but it just needs something a bit more interesting on doesn't it the music paper goes with everything I think I just do and because I can't be bothered to get my glue stick out, I'm going to collage with uh, my art glitter glue. And I didn't put my pin in, so it's bunged up. There we go. So yeah, I can't wait till Cheryl's video comes out. So she is linked because of all the things I've used from the Yummy Happy Mails. So bob over, get subscribed, ready for when that video comes out, because it's going to be fabulous. Oh, we like that. Uh, got some vellum in one of these packets. Find your vellum, woman. Here it is. So I'm going to pop a bit of vellum on as well. There really is so much stuff in these packs. I'm a bit spoilt for choice. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Brian the snail. Oh, I think, you know, because it's mentioning worms, I think I can... Get behind having Brian the snail in the bottom corner. I really can. Yeah. And I'm just going to rip it. I don't want it to go over that hole though. I like it. There you go, Brian. Yeah. I think we're going to round your corner, Brian, because you look a bit... Uh, yeah, vicious with that uh, sharp corner. Oh yeah, that corner rounder did work for the vellum. Yeah, I'm just going to pop him there, I like him. And yeah, I know that uh, it's hard to stick vellum. I'm going to give it a whirl. We are glitter around edge and hope it sticks. Yeah, you might be able to see it, but that's really not bothering me too much. We'll see what occurs, won't we? Because it's quite grungy vellum, this. It's quite dark, so I'm hoping it doesn't show through too much. If this were quite a delicate, pretty pink, pale vellum, yeah, then it would, would be a, much of a problem, I think. But, yeah, that's quite good. You're sticking up a bit there, Brian. What's occurring? I think you need a bit more glue a bit nearer edge. There you go, mate. Oh, nearly dropped glue. Oh, 
we like that and then I'm going to pop some of these stickers on oh I like I'm humming Gilmore Girls theme tune now because we've been watching it again I quite like that I don't know what of three I think I need something there in the middle but I don't know what maybe just some foliage Ooh. stick it and see yeah go eat worms <laughs> I think that's on a par with my Black Death themed collage in there isn't it I just think that's pretty there's not much to it but I like it and I'm going to put a little tip tab on the top I think I'll get my box of tabs out and use a ready made tab so I've got some in colours that may work Ooh, that's nice in fact, they're all nice. Oh, I think that'll go well. Now, I think the wood grainy one won't work better. I think this is from the um, Orchids and Cats paper. I always just cut tabs from my scraps. Oh, do I like the wood grain one better? I don't know. Just use the first one, woman, because you could be here forever changing your mind. Yeah, stop it. Go back to your original wood grain one that you liked. There you go. I think that just proves sometimes there's no perfect one. There's just loads of them that'll look good. <laughs> I've still been watching uh, Say Yes to the Dress. It's been driving me insane. Sometimes I'm like, just pick a dress, any dress. It's just only a dress. But I know it's a wedding dress. It's the most important dress of some people's lives. And it has got to be perfect. But we're not quite that particular when it comes to tabs. I've totally forgot where this is going and which way. Totally forgot. I think I might have stuck tab on the wrong side considering where I'm sticking it that's what you get when you start waffling and lose track of what on earth you're actually doing where was this going what on earth were we doing with it we were putting it in there weren't we so it looks like it's going in sideways now because I put the tab on the top I may have to shave some off the edges Ooh, I've got to shave some off the edges. Yeah, well, we're going to put it in that way, won't we? But no, I, I don't want it in that way now. It's that woman's prerogative thing again. I've changed my mind. So I'm going to take a sliver off each edge. Sorry, Brian, you're going to be even nearer edge than you thought you were going to be. But I think we can live with that. Sorry, Brian. Now we've got to re-round corners, re-ink it. Dee dee dee, dee 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 dee. That's better. Does that fit? Yeah, that fits. Oh, I like it because you only see then is the tab. You don't know what's coming, and you've got room to pop something else in if you want. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. Right. So what we got left to decorate? So we've done those, we've done that, with that. What I was thinking about putting on there is one of the die cuts from the Your Creative Studio box. Oh, I've got some stamps there, they're nice. So let's grab a few die cuts. Where did they go? Here we go. Gotcha. Somehow I want to get one of these cheeky little gnomes in it. Oh, look at him. He's just so fun. And we could put those on and then you could tuck something in behind. Or we could just put a big watering can on. I like that. We could put the cheeky little gnome in the pocket then, couldn't we? 
Oh, did I just whack camera? Yeah, but I think we're okay. Let me just reset my light as well. Sorry about that, people. It's getting quite dark here now. So we're having to wait till everyone had finished the garden DIY to do my video. Why do people go mad on DIY it? Uh, oh, I like the bucket. But I think I like the watering can better. Yeah, let's put the watering can on before we change our minds. And I'm going to make it into a little tuck spot. There we go. So something can be tucked behind it. That's it. We'll open this pocket. And I'm going to put a cheeky gnome in it. I'm going to put the little bucket in. And we're going to put some gardening implements in. Oh, we'll put some gloves. Some wellies. And... Yeah, we'll put the hoe, or it's not a hoe, is it? It's a, yeah, it's a mini hoe, isn't it? Or is it just a shovel? Mini shovel. I don't know. Can you tell how much gardening I do? Not a lot. So there we go. It's pretty. I'm conscious I'm not doing too much, and then I'm like, have I done enough? I don't know. I like, I know there's that to decorate and that, but I think this video's gone on long enough. So I think I'm just going to do a separate video decorating the tags. Yeah, I will. I'll do a separate video to decorate the tags. Or oh, we're going to be here while Christmas and beyond. I'm quite liking the front plane. Just gives a hint to what's inside with the flowers. Yeah, I'm liking that. So all that's left now is to sew in the signature. Right, I've got my signature cut out ready. And I've cut it to five inches wide by eight inches high. Yeah, what I did with the vintage sheets of paper, I, I trimmed a bit off e each of the four sides. So we've still, it, it gets darker towards the outside. Yeah. So I just trimmed a little bit off each side. Then I popped it in my rotary trimmer and trimmed them all to the same width. So that's that. Yeah. This video has been going on about an hour now. And I did say the rest of it would be in two or three parts. So I'm thinking it's going to end up being another part to decorate the rest of the tags. And just sew the signature in. I have got other videos sewing a signature in if you need to see it. I will link one. But yeah, I'm going to do this in another video. Because I think I've done enough there for today. So I'm really happy with how this is going. And we'll get a sense for how chunky it's going to be now. Oh, I like it feels so nice when you make a journal out of paper bags so let's wrap the closure around yeah so that's where we're up to we've done quite a bit of decorating but i don't want to rush the last few bits because i do want to do some decorating on the signature stamping and stenciling and like i said we've been going for an hour now so enough's enough for one day isn't it so thank you for joining me and I will see you next time with the final one. Thank you. Bye.